So when you look at what's happening in Formula One racing, you know, the guy that finishes dead last in a Formula One race, is it's not like he's driving slow. He's driving the car at over 200 miles per hour. He's just not driving it as fast as the winner. So what Formula One teams are doing is they're taking all of this information, all this data that the car is giving them and trying to figure out any advantage or any edge they can do to make the car go faster, to make the tires last longer, to make the fuel last longer, so that the driver has a competitive edge. And I think at the elite level, specifically with tour players and, and the really good golfer, TrackMan allows us to do the same thing. It allows us to try and find a, a way to incrementally, even if it's small, to, to change the performance of the player. All of these things that TrackMan allows us to do at the elite level, at the highest level of the game, we can eke out a little bit more for performance for the players. But at the regular level, at the level that the majority of people that are playing golf, the average golfer and everybody other than tour players, you know, 90% of golfers are, are the average golfer. They just want to score better. They want to enjoy their golf better. I think over the last, you know, three to four years in working with TrackMan on a regular basis and all my lessons, I've never changed golf swings less than I do right now. The elite level golfer has the time, the talent, the ability, and the effort it takes to make massive changes in the golf swing. The higher handicap golfer doesn't have the time, they're not as talented as a tour player, and they just don't have the ability to make these wholesale changes. So we don't have to get them to wholesale make all of these massive changes in their golf swing that one, they don't have time to make, but two, they might not have the ability to make. And I try and get players to do what they do naturally as opposed to maybe get them to do something that's going to take a massive amount of time and a massive amount of ability to make a change. We're seeing results to where people are starting to enjoy their, their golf a little bit more and, and starting to hit the golf ball a little bit more consistently.